KUAM News on Twitter or become a fan on Facebook to get all your daily headlines from Guam's News Network. Hoffaday, welcome back to Weekend Edition. I'm sitting here with Sinahanya Mayor Robert Hoffman, who's going to tell us more about the 70th Liberation Day Carnival and the festivities accompanying it. Sure. Uh, the festiv uh, planning is actually well underway. Uh, we were able to come up with a theme last week, and so this year's theme is Generations of Service and Sacrifice. And with this theme, it's actually broken out into little segments. We honor those generations of families that have served the military, grandfathers, mothers, daughters, and their sons and grandsons. So almost three, four generations we're looking for for this year, we want to honor them. We also want to honor the military family component because while their soldiers are away serving, or their SAID or their Marine or their Airmen, they're left at home really making those sacrifices, keeping the country together and making sure they handle business here. So we're honoring that this year. And it's, I guess it's coincidental that we had our soldiers return home. So we said this is, you know, and we've actually had this theme kind of in, locked already since last year but this year being a landmark year it's the 70th year it's our platinum celebration so we're looking forward to really uh having a wonderful memorial uh memorable wonderful uh, respectful celebration for this uh, liberation because it's not just about the party it's really remembering what took place on the island 70 years ago 74 years ago during those that whole period of the occupation and tell me more about how students can get involved. Sure. This year, what we decided to do is we asked, uh, we put out a, comp a contest out there for all high school students, homeschool, Catholic school, private school, Dodea, uh, you name it, 9 to 12, they're able to come up with a logo using the theme. And they can win a parade spot and $300, so it actually uh, pretty, works out pretty well. So we're really hoping we get some entries this year. And we have a lot of creative teams out there using different mediums. Uh, computer graphics, just even pencil, and we'll work with them after the fact, after it's all submitted and whoever we pick to really uh, tweak it, fine tune it if need be, and then uh, go ahead and adopt it and it'll be the official logo for the 70th year. And we really putting the emphasis on the 70th year because we thought 75 really is also a good moment. You do the 25, 70, uh, 50, 75, but if we were to do the 75th year, a lot of our liberators won't be here. And that's what we, you know, we sat down saying, they're already their late 80s, early 90s, they won't fly here. They'll be 100 plus years old by the time it's a, uh, the 75th so we said you know what? we're going to make this push for the 70th so we've invited and we're working with uh, national organizations to identify liberators who are still surviving and trying to see if they want to come back with their families and we want to have it we want it to be the largest collection of liberators survivors here since the 50th celebration because in the 50th the governor Ada at the time put so many there were so many liberators on guam we want to see that number also on the 70th year so uh, that's one of the highlights and we're that's one of our big pushes so we're working with gvb all our national partners the congresswoman to identify those people and hopefully we get a great response and hopefully they're well enough to come and uh, be a part of this whole celebration the whole 70 day celebration uh tell me again back to the kids and the, the local contest how many is this the first time we're doing something like this or we tried the last year but when we did when we launched the contest last year it came into uh time of exams and then graduation so we decided to front load it very early so that's why we released the contest last week and so we're hoping uh through that time they're, they'll be able to complete their studies kind of do it during easter break and then kind of turn it in so that'll give them enough time to complete it and then we can adopt it and have it all done and put on our posters and our pamphlets our booklets and everything we're going to be doing so uh, that's a uh, that's something different we're doing this year i think also is really letting the school kids get involved and where do they get more information about the local contest? They can contact my office at 472-6707, or they can, uh, I, we'll, we'll be throwing it up at the Mayor's Council website probably this the end of this week, uh, so they can download the uh, rules and eligibility, kind of what we're looking for in that end. So it's going to be a great celebration. And tell me more about, you know, the rest of the Liberation Day festivities. We're, the Mayor Savars has agreed to chair the parade again, and we're getting a lot of interest in the parade. It being the 70th year again, it's going to be bigger and better, so she's, uh, agreed to take on the parade and uh, Agate Mayor Carol Tayama is going to be doing the Queens along with uh, Vice Mayor Rudy from Sinahanya and they'll be handling the Queens and really encouraging all organizations not just villages but business groups if you want uh, schools if they want to do it that way and the more girls we have for this Liberation Queen contest it really brings out and it, it's a big educational experience for them every girl that actually ends up being joining the liberation contest when they walk away they have a greater deeper respect for everything that took place here it's not just you know they realize it's not just the party and the fun it's when they meet survivors of incidences in the sumai cave or uh tinta faha that's the that really moves them and so there's a profound experience for them so uh, we're looking forward to kind of getting them out there and getting gathering more girls for this and so uh, this year's con this year's whole celebration actually going to really be chaired fully by the guam liberation historical society 
and whose uh, main mission is to preserve, to connect, and to share. And we really want to preserve our World War II history here and really share, share that with the world. And what we're working on also is inviting our national partners, our counterparts, Congress, various congressmen, various senators. We're even inviting the White House to see if they can come to our shores, see what took place here, be a part of the celebration. And at the same time, we can kind of give them some information on war reparations. And look, we're the only American soil that ever got occupied in a war. So why don't you come here and kind of see what it is? And so I think they'll have a better understanding of what took place here if they actually come here. So we're hoping the congresswoman and the governor as he leaves to Washington in the next uh, coming weeks to kind of hand out those invitations, say, here, you got to come and do it here. And we'll make whatever preparations we need to on our end to accommodate them. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, we're hoping to kick off uh, mid-May or end of May and then last up until July 27th, but we're just working on the numbers and schedules of all the schools. Uh, we are actively looking for uh, sponsors. Uh, KOM has been a great sponsor for our media. You guys do an amazing job with our commercials, and so uh, that's why I, I, we're looking forward to working with you and the rest of the uh, private sector to really elevate this to, like I said, the Platinum Celebration, Generations of Service and Sacrifice, and to really honor all those. Our, you know, Guam's very patriotic, and so really honor those families who answer the call to military service. And what's the number to call if you want more information again? They can call the Mayor's Council at 472-6940 or my office at 472-6707. Thanks so much, Mayor. Thank you. Keep it here. More when Weekend Edition returns.